how to be more photogenic. <laughs> What's up, virgins? It's your boy, Based Seuss, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to be photogenic as fuck so you can start raking in all the Instagram likes and sliding into all the Instagram models' DMs just like me. And speaking of likes, be sure to smash that like button. If not, I'll smash your girl. <laughs> Hashtag based. Number one, don't lean back or away from the camera. You know what I'm talking about. When young guys take pictures, they almost immediately tilt their head backwards and shy away from the camera. Doing this messes up the structure of your jawline in the pictures, and it makes you look like you have a double chin. It's almost an instinct to shy away from the camera and pull your head back, as if you're trying to hide from the camera to hide your ugliness. But fuck that! You're subscribed to this channel, so you already know that looks aren't all that important if you have a solid game and a great personality. Plus, if you're ugly, then I have videos on how to get girls if you're ugly anyway, which I'll have linked on the screen right now, so being ugly isn't an issue for you anymore. Instead of leaning away from the camera, number two, do. Lean your head forward and jut your chin outward. Now, if you're watching this video and trying it out like I know you are, you're probably thinking, no way, this shit feels so unnatural and awkward. I'm gonna come out looking like a giraffe in my pictures. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> but trust me, jutting your chin forward in pictures is the easiest way to create a sharper jawline and make your face look a lot more structured in your pictures. Look at all these pictures. All these guys are looking snacky as fuck because they're all jutting their chin outwards, and it's making their jawline look fucking fire. Leaning it forward creates more separation from your neck, so you can avoid looking like you have a double chin, and it makes your facial structure more pronounced. You're welcome. Number three, do use your tongue to make your jawline look stronger. Sounds crazy, right? But if you force your tongue up to the roof of your mouth and breathe through your nose, you'll feel your jawline tighten up and look a lot more defined and structured. Try it now in front of the mirror and you'll see what I'm talking about. And once again, you're welcome. Number four, do make your skin look smoother. Oh fuck, wait, I just said two do's in a row instead of a don't. Fuck it, fuck it, I'm only doing one take. You can have all the photography knowledge in the world, but if your skin is rough and bumpy and you have red spots all over, it's going to show up in your photos and ruin your entire look. Plus, a lot of Instagram filters actually make bad skin look even worse because they increase the contrast on the photo, which brings out any discrepancies like that. If you want to make sure your face is on point and looking dope, I recommend you check out Tish Hanley, who I got to sponsor today's video. If you want to have your best face possible, then use Tish Hanley. It's simple. Tish takes all the guesswork and complicated shit out of taking care of your skin. It's uncomplicated skin care for men, and the price is ridiculous. When you get your package, it comes with instructions on exactly how much and when to use each product. They have three different levels. Their Level 1 kit comes with a face wash, an exfoliating scrub to keep your face glowing, and an AM and PM moisturizer for morning and night. If you want to step it up, then Level 2 comes with an anti-aging eye cream which gets rid of the puffiness and dark circles from under your eyes. Your eyes are a huge aspect of looking good in pictures, and Tej's eye cream has caffeine in it to make the skin around your eyes firmer and make sure you're as awake as your morning coffee makes you feel. Because if your eyes look tired and all fucked up, then your whole face will be off. And if your whole face is off, then Tej hooks it up with their Level 3 system, which also includes the eye cream and an anti-aging firming super serum that's packed with vitamins and antioxidants to tighten up your face and make it look soft and, as Alpha would say, dynamite. And the best part, if you rub Tej Hanley on your photos, you'll look more photogenic. I'll have a link and a discount code in the description for you guys to check out. Number 5. Don't do basic ass poses. Yeah, I'm looking at you, teenage boys. Wait, what? No, no, not like that. Not in a creepy way with Chris Hansen about to emerge. Have a seat. I want to talk to you for a little bit. How are you doing tonight? Good. Do you remember who I am? You know when guys take pictures together, they all do this stupid pose with their hands in front? Yeah, please, for Zeus's sake, don't do that. It makes your picture indistinguishable from all the other basic dudes posting like that on Instagram. And it doesn't even make you look your best because it hides your posture and makes you look like a clone next to all the other people you're standing next to. Instead, go for tip number six. Do figure out what poses work best for you. Now, I'm into photography, and I've noticed that most of the time when I photograph people, they look their best when they're looking directly into the camera, as opposed to away from it. But looking away from it is a good option as well. It's just about experimenting with a bunch of different pictures and poses, and seeing what works best for you. Get yourself a little tripod and use the timer on your camera to take some pictures of yourself in a bunch of different poses. 
Then look at them and see which ones you look good in and which ones you don't look good in. That way, next time you're with friends and you guys are taking pics, it removes all the guesswork because you already know your best poses and you can jump right into them. Trust me, literally every hot girl or guy on Instagram knows exactly what their best angles are. Number 7. Don't take pictures with shitty lighting. Lighting is also important. You don't want the light below you because it makes your face look fucked up. And if you're posing with your shirt off, you want the light right above you and slightly in front because it highlights your body and makes you look a lot more defined. I'm not exaggerating when I say you can look like you just dropped 10% body fat just by altering the lighting in your pictures. Play around with it and figure out what works best for you. And that's it! If you like this video, be sure to drop a line and subscribe to my channel for instant clout. Also, be sure to check the link in my description for a badass discount on Tej Hanley, the only uncomplicated skincare system for men. Zeus out!